Our journey through Alabasta continues. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster I Shinobi. We have episodes 101 and 102 today of One Piece. Again, our group is still making their way to Yuba, overcoming a few obstacles here and there, including just absolute monstrosities in this desert. We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. And let's get started with the episodes. Oh, what a cozy little hideout. Hey, they had to stop eventually. Oh, wait, no, this is someone else. All right, what is this duo? Oh, that's probably Luffy's camp. Yeah, okay. He sees the tat. Stop! I, I hate these small sounds so much. Wait, you've been waiting for Ace. Why, why does that bird keep yawning? He's not very good about sharing when it comes to food. <laughs> Don't make eye contact like he's an animal. He's so reserved. He's so mature in comparison to his brother. I would say his well-mannered, like, attitude is why he has such a high bounty. He keeps himself kind of restrained. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is quite the detour, I'm gonna be honest, in terms of finding Blackbeard. I mean, is he going to snipe him? That seems kind of, you know, a roundabout way of doing things, but sure, buddy. Popo! He's not gonna say anything. Oh, some kids too. Uh, one of them is invisible, apparently. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> what do you mean they saw us? Of course you did. Just floated that meat in front of him. It's running. Honestly, it was pretty impressive that they were able to get like a hook or something into the into the meat. Oh, these poor kids probably just need food. It's such a small piece too. Ten days and his name's Chip. That's so sad. Oh. Oh, the Badlands. Of course, Ace just followed them like effortlessly. Oh, yeah, you're gonna take him down for sure. While well, I have a feeling this guy is like low key kind of uh like wholesome, or he has like a sad backstory. Like he has so much spirit, man. Him and Popo against the world. The photo is ripped, so I feel like the like actual person he's looking for was in that picture, and it's ripped. How does he just? He's ahead of Chopper. Oh, there they are. I've come to challenge you. I love how Luffy's just with him. Like they don't care. I haven't cared that Luffy's been gone. <laughs> I feel like this isn't gonna take much. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, like there's no way this is the guy. Unless he has some crazy stuff hidden up his sleeve. Oh, here he goes. I love this soundtrack though. It's so good for no reason. I just want to see Ace flex more, man, honestly. Can't get enough. That seemed like his whole plan was that net. They just threw it back on him. Even Popo's disrespecting him. <laughs> Bruh, at least Popo's a good teammate, man. He's there for him. Aragon with extingu- Wait, that doesn't seem that- Oh, wait, an extinguisher! I can fire! How did that take me so long? Oh my gosh, wait, that, that is a very high pressure. Breaking rocks. Didn't take much at all, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, he did not. Huh? Ah, I see, okay. Yeah, not bad, but he bit off a bit more than he could chew. This does uh, Scorpion have a final form? Wait, what? This was all a scam? Wait, he doesn't know? Or did he, he didn't see them there. Chip and Dip? No shot, you named them Dip Chip. <laughs> Guessing it was like a bad season or something. He's like had to resort to this kind of stuff. Aww. Oh, he did it literally just, he just wanted them to like have an exciting life. Oh. 
Here he goes with Double Barrel Danny and Hell Battler Luther again. Also, why do I feel like he just made those names up? Actually true. Actually true. Hmm. Doesn't mean you'll win or even stand a chance, but you can challenge them. And they had like no dreams because they were like, all right, well, our lives are pointless and we're just going to die here. No, you 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 pack up now. He's still going? Oh, here comes Popo. Very useful. Wait, is he going to shoot like the bomb one? Why would he do that with his children here? This is a horrible way to prove a point. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Just please don't blow us up. It's a little bit traumatic, I'm gonna be honest. Kinda getting selfish that he's putting them through this. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that was a tad underwhelming, but I feel like that's about to fall on them. He said blow like he'll like destroy the grand line with that. He's too cool, man. He really is. Like I said, he reminds me of Mihawk, how he's showing how like power scaled some characters in this show are. I thought Luffy was powerful, dude. Are you dead? He has a whole scorpion helmet and everything. That's so cute. <laughs> wholesome. I mean, in a weird way, but wholesome. No! No! Another lead. Oh, I'm so sad. What? Does it say something on it? Aww. He's in capable hands. Hell yeah. Bye, dip. Bye, chip. Man, it's just disappeared. Dang, dude. Like a ghost in the night. I want to know what the paper says. Oh, I actually do wonder how long it'll be. Boy, and so that concludes Ace with our crew. I actually, that kind of came out of nowhere for me. I thought he would be here until the, the sort of the, the end of Alabasta. But like I said, I mean, this is a huge detour for him. And since there's no lead anymore, there's no point in him being here. Aside from, I guess, bonding time with Luffy. That being said, episode 102, let's get it. Also, if we don't find out uh, in this one what the paper says, I'm going to be a little bit upset. What do you mean, Dano? How do you get lost out here? <laughs> Earlier? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it is. I was like, is this, are they going to explain? Mans was running on air there for a second. Yeah, he was flying. I love how the voice actor for Luffy sounds like he's just in a very enclosed room. <laughs> That's such a good line. I look forward to it. No. Oh. They just went on ahead? Dude! Wind could blow the footsteps. Like, he literally has just gone mad. What do you mean, stick him with a needle? God dang, dude. They're not gonna even gonna make it across the desert. God, dude, those eyes! Submarine? Oh, wait, that's actually cool. Oh my God, they drown Chopper. Oh no, dude. We've seen them fight already. I was so annoyed by that in Whiskey Peak. Somebody help Chopper. Okay, okay. Crocodile Zoro versus Crazed Luffy. He says, how did I end up following this captain? But he loves Luffy so much. He loves these shenanigans. Huh? <gasps> They just stopped? Why did they just freeze like that? Stuff and things. They like knock him out. I guess they just knocked each other out and then were buried in the sand. So that's why they just stopped like that. Well, well, well. Look how there's no footprints in a desert where there's wind blowing. Okay, that's not as complex as a, of a story for them getting separated as I expected. Oh, 
I wonder if it takes like more energy for Chopper to stand up for him or if it's just more of a convenience thing how he was small so that like made it way easier for Zora to drag him like now he can't be drugged so he's like bigger but I guess then his footsteps are, are like or his stride is longer so it doesn't take as much energy this is like the opposite of pirate life in a desert well I guess it's just like ex exploring in general it just like comes with it he's like let's form our own crew Chopper Yes, he is. Everyone's a maverick? Like what, just on top of their game? I think they've all joined just like for the extent of Luffy and who he is as a captain. They can tell who he is.俺には誤魔化してるようにしか思えねえ。それぞれが自分のできることを死ぬ気でやって。俺はやったぞ。初めて死にます。仲間って言っても別に一匹狼でもいい。True。自分のできることをやればいいって。あ、so <laughs> <laughs> a little bit different than Usopp's mantra. <laughs> The one little rock. I like their turns back and forth. No! Man, just clotheslined them into the rock. At least they got shade. God, dude, that has to feel good, though. After all that time in the desert, you've killed Chopper once again. Okay, at least he can admit it. Dude! What is this literal rabbit hole we are falling down? Oh, what? This looks like treasure, bro. We treasure hunting out here. Chopper's dead, Zoro's in a hole, and they're just gonna make it to you before everybody else. Kind of mysterious. Structure with writing? Ah, uh, Chopper can hop down. <laughs> it's just sinking through. That's Luffy so positive, man. Whatever it is, it's definitely underground. Boy, couldn't have figured that out. Another, like, destroyed town? Lashes. <laughs> nope. They're off on a side mission right now. Surely they have to be close. Oh, wow. Wait, that's really close then. Oh, I guess it's like noon, so like a six, seven hour walk. That is an epic story. Romanticizing the, uh, <laughs> the downfall of Alabasta. Dang。I love the serious discussion and it just cuts to Usopp dead. This one on Patreon kind of helped me figure out like how there's actually three sides like Alabasta, the Rebels, and Baroque Works. And it's all kind of being manipulated by Crocodile. I'm just uh, very curious about what was Vivi's childhood friend? They said at the beginning of the last one, his connection to Crocodile or like their relationship. Yeah, that inevitable fight, uh, dude. I don't know. It's building Crocodile up pretty big because, I mean, he's Mr. Zero. We haven't even seen Mr. One fight yet. Or Mr. Two. We know Mr. Two, but we don't even know who Mr. One is, let alone how strong he is. And I assume he would come before Crocodile. Oh. You know you are still on a trek to get to Yuba, right, Luffy? I guess it's just like part of the civilization that has fallen away over time. I think I got buried after. We just need to get back. This more just seems like lore for Alabasta. He's such a child! <laughs> Zoro's comedy hole. Are you a comedian? Yeah, I figured you're just trying to grab on. I guess you're just gonna have to bust through the whole ceiling. Oh, nice. There's nothing to grab onto. 
Well, that's just beyond his reach. I still haven't figured out Luffy's reach. But he's going to collapse the entire building in. Okay, Luffy is trolling. Like, actually trolling. At this point, I'm convinced he's trying to not get to Yuba, ever. He runs off with random people, seemingly trapping them in here. Oh, unless... <laughs> I mean, it works. That makes sense why you wanted Chopper smaller. Oh. Oh my gosh. They better hope for a soft landing. <laughs> Didn't plan for this. Chopper learns more and more by the day what this crew is really about. I thought they were going to land like right on Vivi and all of them. It's all just an adventure to him. <laughs> oh, dude, the night sky is so red. Usopp is struggling, bro. It's broken him. God, he looks rough. Of course she's worried. They're about to finally be there, but in the middle of everything. That she cares more. You don't have to say friends. You can say Usopp. How can you trust him? And she knows that they put in their everything. All of them on the crew. Uh, he admitted that he needed them. Aww. That's so sweet. I mean, it was a straightforward answer, but she didn't need a straightforward answer. Yeah, figure out their relationship. What, everybody needs each other? And it's not all about just like one ruler? I was about to say it's the perfume. Very sensitive. Boy, they have to be getting there soon then. If they're catching up to Nami and all of them, and they said they'd get there by nightfall, it's gotta be like the next episode or two episodes for sure. And I feel like it's really going down. There they are. See, they always find their way back home. Home is where the crew is. She gave her that wink, like, told you. Aww. That's so freaking sweet, dude. I love just those feel-good moments where it doesn't make me cry, but I can still be like, dang, yeah, that's what this show's all about. It's literally like the heart of the crew. How Luffy is this very, very powerful person, but admits his faults and admits that he needs help. It's like a very deep running theme, and I feel like it's going to be the recurring theme, especially in how they, they're finding crewmates and finding like, you know, sort of holes to fill in the crew. Because they all need certain like help in certain categories and have to admit their faults and admit that they are human. Despite might all be in like, yeah, I'm the best at this, or I'm the best at this. They're all narcissists in a way, but they, they work well together. They fit each other. Once they all get on that same wavelength, they're like, okay, yeah, you help me here, I help you there. And I think that was just a really sweet way that they kind of attributed it to Alabasta, especially for Vivi being someone in like a higher position of power. But guys, that's been it for episodes 101 and 102 of our One Piece watch through. Very, very sweet, wholesome episodes. I'm assuming before the chaos that goes down once they actually make it to Yuba and the inevitable, inevitable confrontation with Crocodile. But that's it for me. Drop a sub if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.